Well, good morning out there, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? I know we're continuing this trend of I'm doing a video and we're going to share a meal. Now, for those of you who caught my last video when I'm talking about the pile of shame, I, <laughs> well, okay, we'll get there in a moment. As you know by the thumbnail, everything else you clicked on. Today, we're going to take a look at another Mount House Adventure meal, the chicken teriyaki with rice, green peas, carrots, peppers, and onions. All right. Now, as I was saying about that pile of shame, I don't know about a lot of other reviewers out there, but a bunch of us, you know, you buy up a whole bunch of things that look cool, and you try to review them in a timely manner, but you get lost, you go somewhere else, you do this, things pile up. So I've made a promise to my better half, I'm going to make a dent in that pile of shame before the new year is out, so we got to get these out of the way, right? So that's why you're seeing a bunch of in the gear reviews, free strike meals. Okay, now these things, um, they're lightweight, they're easy. Seriously, this thing is what, 4.2 ounces? So it's lightweight in your pack. If you need like um, a get home bag or an inch bag, which is I'm never coming home, you know, your bug out bag. If you're in disaster areas, I suggest stocking up on some of these. Like, I don't know, Florida, Texas, Louisiana. You just got a meal. You can boil water, you got a meal, right? They have a killer shelf life. This one is March 2051. I don't, I don't want to be around by then. That's just me, though. Okay? Now, according to everything I can find, for those of you with gluten allergies, they say this one is gluten-free. Now, let's do the adulting thing here for a moment, okay? As of Thursday, October 27th, when I am filming this video on Amazon for the single pouch, there is only one buying option, and I really don't suggest it. It's $17.25. They do sell them in a four-pack. What do we got here? Come on. For 69 or in a six-pack. <laughs> six-pack. Come on. For $88.95. I'm going to tell you, honestly, if you're looking at picking this one up after I review it and it seems interesting to you, go to your local big box stores like a Cabela's, a Bass Pro Shops, a Target, a Walmart, a Fred Meyer, a whatever you've got in your area. You can find them there for a lot cheaper. I seriously think I found this pouch for 10 bucks. Okay, it's really, really easy to make. Basically, you boil one and two thirds cups of water, dump it in, stir the crap out of it, okay? Especially in the sides where some of like the sauce or some of the stuff is kind of settled. Stir it up and get it in there. The more calories you can get in you is the better you're going to be in the backcountry or in an emergency situation. Basically, you let it seal for full. Seal it, let it stand for five minutes. If you want, open it up, stir it around again, let it sit for another four. So basically, let it sit for nine minutes. Now, for those of you who like the nutrition stuff, uh, you know, hit pause, peruse that at your leisure, and there's the ingredients. Hit pause, peruse that at your leisure. Okay, we're going to open this up. I'm going to show you the insides. In case some of you have never seen it before, it's, it's quite okay. You know, that's why we go to the tube of views, right? You want to check out the new stuff. You want to see interesting things. You want to learn something. Now, I tell this to everybody in every little, every little one of these free strike meals that I've ever done. Comes a little silica packet. See where it says on there? Do not eat, do not eat, do not eat, do not eat. Don't listen to any Reddit forums. It's not a secret sauce, okay? It's not narcotics. It's not anything interesting in there. It's bad for you. It will kill you. It's to basically help keep everything freeze-dried and, you know. But still, take it out, throw it away. Now, if you can't find it, like it's at the bottom of the package, you can reconstitute your meal with that silica pack in there. It's not going to contaminate your meal. <clears throat> but please remove it before you try to eat anything. You don't want to accidentally break into that packet and start chewing. This is how this one looks before it's been reconstituted, okay? Basically, a lot of these things look the exact same way. You've got the powder, which is going to be your sauce. You've got everything else in there that's been made, freeze-dried, broken down, and stuffed in the bag. What I'm going to do now, like I do with every other one of these... I'm going to go boil water. I'm going to reconstitute it. None of you want to sit around for those 15, 20 minutes, okay? Now, granted, I was given a great idea the other day about, let's just do a boil water video to see how many people might want to watch that, maybe for April 1st. But still, I'm going to be back when this is ready with the usual bowl and spoon. 
We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Did you miss me? Don't answer that. I, I don't want to know. I already know I'm going to get some smart-ass comments on that, but still. Okay, it is all done in... I don't know. Can you see that steam? Yeah, there we go. Some of that steam coming up. Whew. All right. <sighs> I got to tell you, this is not one of the most visually appealing boiling bag meals I think I've ever brought to the channel. Kind of looks like something you'd hear at 3 in the morning with your cat going, what? 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 But okay. You can see there's a lot of rice, veggies, and whatever. We usually only do... Um, three big spoonfuls just to see hey did everything reconstitute properly how's it taste all that fun stuff because I figure one is not a really good thing two you're like in that medium but three you know oh lord have mercy yeah okay sorry <sighs> you can do this Chris mama didn't raise no bitch alright First bite. <sighs> yeah. This is all before coffee, too. Worst part is, I actually like teriyaki chicken and teriyaki rice and teriyaki stuff. This just doesn't... It doesn't look visually appealing. It really doesn't. And you eat with your eyes, from what I've been told by a lot of chefs. So it needs to look good for you to think it's going to taste good, but let's find out. Okay, it's got the teriyaki taste, the chicken that I had in there tasted pretty good. It wasn't um, chewy, wasn't rubbery, yeah, all right, rice and veggies. Definitely different. I don't know if that thing said mushrooms, but that looks like a mushroom, and I am not a huge shroom fan, so no. I will not eat you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. If you're a mushroom fan, sorry. No. But there's about a big mix as I can get. Uh, that, hmm. Got an okay taste, but it just looks like ugh. this may be one of those that I heavily suggest leaving in the bag. Okay. Mm. Alright, so that was three. Not bad. It looks like cat puke, but it tastes a hell of a lot better. Not that I've ever had cat puke, so I don't even know why I just said that. <sighs> Alright. Would I recommend it? Sure. Would I buy it again? Oh, I've got like two or three packs upstairs because I... I've got three kids and a better half, so I try to keep at least a two-week supply of emergency food on hand. You know, in case anything goes wrong. I don't know, from another pandemic. <laughs> but still. <sighs> like I said, would I recommend it? Sure. It's got a, it got a really good taste to it. Visually, mm -mm. Visually, if I was served that at a restaurant... You would literally hear the Gordon Ramsay coming out of me. <laughs> you donkey! You know? But still. Would it be filling? That's the worst part. Because I know, like, with the rice... When, when you go out to a lot of places and you fill up on rice, you're usually hungry a little bit later because you're not filling up on certain other things. Would it be a great meal? Yes. Would it be great if you're in a deer stand? You know, it's early in the morning, you're really freaking hungry? Sure. Why not? 
Would it be something I would say I want every day, three times a day for a week straight? No. But that's just me. But we are at the most important part of the video. Seriously, we really truly are. This is the best part of every video for me. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below. Have you used this one by Mountain House before? You know, have you had successes with it? Have you had failures with it? Would you... Mm. Get that freeze dried burp. <laughs> you know, would you recommend it? Uh, you, you know, leave those comments right down below. Let's get a conversation started. I know that these things have been out for a while. I know that there have been other reviewers out there who have covered them. But this is kind of new to my channel, so let's help people who are new to the game, so to speak. Now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, and I can almost guarantee I did because I made myself cringe by just looking at that, well, meal. <laughs> Please, hit the big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But guys, there we go. Thank you so much for watching this weird one, the Mountain House Adventure Meal Teriyaki Chicken with Rice. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day, a safe day, and I hope to see all of you, especially you, trying to hide in the back. And you over there in the corner, I see you guys in our next video.